To create this folding text animation, we first just want to begin by creating some new text. So we'll press the T icon at the top of After Effects, select on the video and we'll type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we'll go into the character window and we can change the font, weight, size, etc. And then once you're happy, we will just center that up. Now from here, we're going to convert this text from 2D to 3D. So to do that, you want to select this button here. So there's a cube there. 3D layer allow this layer to be manipulated in three dimensions. So we'll select that. And if you can't see that, then select toggle switches slash modes to view that. Now from here, we'll go into the drop down arrow. We'll go into transform. And as you can see, we have more options here. So if we go into rotation, you can see we can control the rotation on X, Y, and Z. But we're going to focus on X. This is the one that we need. Now, as you can see, it's folding from the bottom. We want this to fold from the top. So in order to do that, we need to change the anchor point. So the anchor point is this down here in the bottom left. So we are just going to move the bottom left over to the center. And then we'll just move the anchor point so that this now sits back in the center. However, you want the anchor point to be at the top center of the text. So when we pull this down, you want this to sit just about there. So now when we go back to X rotation, you can see this is now animating from the top, which is exactly what we need. So we'll go to the beginning and we'll set the X rotation to 90. Then from there, we'll just create a new keyframe on the X rotation. We'll go over a few frames. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six frames. And we'll pull that all the way around to about negative 60. Then we'll go another six or so frames over and we'll go to a positive number, but not as high. So plus 36 in this example. Then we'll go some more frames over, bring it back to a negative number. And then we're slowly just going to start to transition out to the point where this becomes still. So now we'll go zero. So you can see we've gone plus 90 in negative 61, plus 36, negative 24, plus 13 and zero. So when we play this back, you'll see this rotates in. But at the moment, the animation looks clunky. So let's highlight all of those keyframes. Right click on one of those. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now when we play this back, you'll notice that looks a lot smoother now. Of course, if this is too quick, then you can just increase the gap between the keyframes like this. So just highlight all of the keyframes and just increase those gaps. And that means it will just take a pinch longer to settle into each specific point. There you go. So once we've rendered this out and we play this back, you'll see that now looks a lot more natural. And that is your folding text inside of Adobe After Effects.